and the double range. This one up there? Ah, what, I only had one blink? I must have charged my blink too soon. She was going to vault it. Oh, we're just going in circles. Oh, tea bags. We get tea bags. Okay. See, it's these kinds of players we got out right now. Dirty little tea baggers. What's up, Suvi? Let's go, come save her. We got a gen there, a gen here. It's gen that's like over there. We got someone coming in for the save. Check this one. Get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, this is what I like to do to them. So watch them die slowly. Is there one down? Okay, this one's down. Ooh, 
Nice. Check on the generators. Lots of turns. Hmm, they're all over here. They're all injured. So tough, aren't they? The, the, the floors, man. Upstairs, downstairs, nonsense, but that's just the way it goes. Especially when you try to do short blinks. fun. Oh, nice. You guys have some generators you should be doing.
All right, dear. It's all quiet. They all go into stealth mode. I just don't like your name, so... That's one thing about this map, the hooks. That was your first hook, really? Okay. Okay. <laughs> They're just playing little locker games now. Too far through the wall. <laughs> They're just having so much fun. In the locker here. Oh, that's what I thought. Just gonna let you. Ah, uh, that was my bad. In the locker here? Go ahead. Guess not.
she's in that locker. I'm sure you can understand when I say I want them both dead. Glad they're having so much fun. <laughs> and the other one's back up. It's okay. They want to play the little games. And we can play games. Tunneling. Wait, what? This is not trolling. Just toxic. What's? What am I doing? That's toxic. Stinky tunnelers get the triple head on. Who did I tunnel? I didn't tunnel anybody. I didn't tunnel a single person in this match. The, the bottom line is, you know, crybabies are going to cry and complain. What well, Hannah said, he was tunneling and camping at three gens. How is his head on any different? It's not, but it's that killer entitlement. And the slugging. I just played, before I just played these last two killer games, I played 11 hours as a survivor. So that killer entitlement and the slugging, what I'm saying, slugging for the 4K after tunneling and camping. Wait a minute, I didn't camp anybody. I hit that one on the hook. I stayed and hit that one on the hook because they were teabagging me. Yeah, I'm saving her for last. I left her alive because I want her to be the last one. I was looking at you camping and hitting. Yeah. Did you see her teabagging me before that? She asked for it. I wouldn't have hit her on the hook if she didn't teabag me. It's that survivor entitlement. If you want to talk like that. She's in this thing right here. Oh, guess what? Time's up. It didn't work, did it? Now watch this. How much you want to bet they probably just disconnect now? After all that. Oh, that's only her second hook. How's this for entitlement? Because as far as I understand, this Nancy is on death hook. But you know what we'll do? We'll be nice. And we'll even give them another chance to bully the entitled killer. Go ahead. Save your friend.
And that's for your teabagging. As far as I know, this one didn't teabag. There's a hatch right below us. As far as I saw, this one didn't teabag. So, I'm not going to give her a hatch. But I think I'll let her walk out the gate. I don't have a problem with the head-ons. I, I had an issue with the, the arrogant teabagging. There, because I'm such an awful, entitled, tunneling, camping killer. This one can have the gate. Which I would have done anyway. Although I should kill her just for her name. That's right, bow down to the entitled camper. We're just trying to have fun. Okay. Nancy, if you're watching this DC. <laughs> What's wrong with you people? Thank you for giving my teabagging partner a hatch. Yeah, well, I if she teabagged me, I didn't see it. But I guess that's what she was doing at the end there. But you see what I mean? It's, you know, it's these toxic, uh, camping, tunneling, entitled killers that, you know, are just so awful. I was the Nancy Bozo. Yeah, and you got wrecked. So thanks for stopping by. Appreciate your toxicity. And uh, get better or uninstall. Am I gay? No. Would it matter if I was gay? Do you have like a problem with gay people? Are you homophobic? Because you know the whole DVD community is like, gee, I don't know, like 85% LGBTQ maybe not 85% they're just the loud ones but it has been truly hilarious playing against you well thank you I'm glad you had fun I'm always trying to make it fun for everybody so I'm glad you can have fun because that's what the game is about having fun right I ran you like a dog. You guys really didn't run me. You played little head-on games with the locker. And I pretty much let you, knowing that you were in the lockers. No, I'm gay just asking because DVD is 90% LGBTQ. I just said the same thing. No, no, not fun. GG's, brother. But funny for sure. So you didn't have fun? It was just funny? I have no idea what the hell... What's happened is they're... They, these are the people that just played in that last game. And they're, they're very, like, vocal about their feelings no I the head-ons don't bother me with a nurse I just blink like one time and pretty much catch right up to you so 
The only thing I'm salty about is you're lying about camping tunnel. I camped the Nancy right in her face on purpose because the from the very first chase we got on, she ran me around the little area and then was teabagging me at the pallet. Like the cocky kind of arrogant teabagging, like, oh, you can't catch me because you suck. So when I caught her, I smacked her on the hook and camped her because at that point I didn't even care what happened as far as gens or whatever. And don't get me wrong, like, when I play, I teabag the killers too as Survivor. I think it's funny, but. I'm not that good as as a survivor, so when I teabag the killer, it's kind of like it's me being silly. But it's not being it's not the way that you guys were arrogant. Pick a new killer. Like I wrecked I literally see in the comments right there, like pick a new killer. It's to say like I'm trash, but I literally wrecked you guys. But you want me to pick a new killer so you actually have a chance. Rebecca really deserved to escape. I don't know if Rebecca deserved to escape. Because at the end there, I I guess she was teabagging me rapidly because it's different when you like there's a way, like if you're facing the killer and you like crouch twice or once, it's like to say thank you. But if your back is turned to them and you're looking at them and you're rapidly teabagging, that's to say like, you know. That's a, that's like in a toxic way. At least that's what it seems. So even after I let her out, you know, she's being all toxic is what it seems. Look, Hannah, if I tunneled you, it wasn't deliberate. It wasn't like, uh, I don't even know which one you were. But it's not like I set out to say like, oh, I'm going to go after this person and kill them. Honestly, the funny thing about it is one at high MMR killers are kind of forced to tunnel. They kind of have to because you're not going to get you're not going to get 12 hooks in the time that it takes to do three generators, not three, rather five generators. You're not going to the, the generators can get done in like four minutes normally in a game when you start out by the time I down somebody and hook them at least one generator is done so it basically takes the time of like one chase one down and that's like a fast chase and a fast down and a fast hook a generator will get done so if you just average that right there alone by the time you get five hooks it, you could pretty much the survivors could pretty much have five generators done so you can't go for 12 hooks so you kind of have to tunnel, but at the same time, the funny thing is with me is I deliberately try not to tunnel. I try to like, if I know I've hooked somebody twice, I don't go for them. And even that toxic Nancy was hooked twice. And even though I was hitting her on the hook and camping her, I deliberately let her stay for the rest of the game. It was one for two reasons is one. I wanted to save her for the end. And two is also because I don't like to can't I don't like to tunnel somebody out because I want them to have fun. So I'm not trying to just eliminate somebody from the game. And if you look at how long that game went, nobody died like immediately. I think the hat um, was it a Hattie? No. <coughs> I don't remember who the first one was. But I kind of felt bad, but somebody had to die. Like eventually somebody has to die the killer cannot win the game if unless they kill someone because with four survivors just cranking out the gens it doesn't matter if you keep hooking them and downing them they're going to get the gens done and be at the gate and running around and then you know if they're this kind of survivors they'll be teabagging you at the gate so killers are forced to tunnel it's just the way the game is if you want to win you have to have to eliminate someone and you're not going to eliminate somebody by getting two hooks on each person like two four six eight you're going to get eight hooks by then generators are done gates are open and everybody's teabagging you at the gate so 
that's just the way it is and i deliberately try not to tunnel and the only reason this this one got out is because i let them out so if i wanted to 4k that bad i could have easily killed them yeah and aren't you the one that i let out because you have like a stupid vulgar profane name futbuck i mean it's stupid it's like childish and yeah but i still let you out right and you're the one i let live and you're still crying over here you forced me to trade then proceeded to go after him well you didn't have to trade but I don't even give them attention. They're salty. Like, you're supposed to let them go. Well, that's how it is with a lot of survivors. It's like, if they don't win, they give you all this, this, like, trash talk as if, as if you're supposed to let them go. It's like, especially, like, there's this one game that I played and all the four survivors are, like, grouped up. And so I slug them all and hook them all. And then it's just like, oh, camping, trashy, tunneling, killer. You shouldn't have slugged or... And I'm like, okay, so all survivors are grouped up in one spot. I'm supposed to go to the other side of the map and look for the fifth survivor or something. What am I supposed to do? Like, go take a timeout. Maybe go wait by the exit gates for them to unhook each other, heal up and teabag me at the gate. And I could just open the gate for them. Like that's the mentality that they that they have when you're the killer and i've been on the survivor side and i've been camped and i've been tunneled and i know it doesn't feel good but i i'm but at the same time i understand why the killers are doing it it's because of sweaty bully swifts like this that are gonna like play silly little games and hop in the lockers and uh head on you and then like teabag you and click their flashlights at you and they they'll go in two lockers side by side and if you pull one of them out of the locker the other one will jump out and flashlight blind you and they'll teabag you and jump back in the locker and to them that's fun and that's fine but for me when i catch you and hit you on the hook that's fun so it should be fair game right you want to like be toxic towards the killer from the start of the game and then when the killer catches you in his toxic bag, you're going to cry about it. Is that really fair? <laughs> you do what you're supposed to do. Don't even pay attention to these sensitive people. No mind. They don't deserve it. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I know. But it's like, I'm just trying to. Because if nobody tells them, then they just. They don't know, I guess. They just think that. The game revolves around them bullying the killer and having fun, but God forbid they get caught and punished for it. <coughs> it's okay. I mean, I gave them my attention. We played a game together. The game was fun, but I, I don't care either way. Like, when I... Turn the game off like the game's off i don't sit there and think about it it's just it's competitive and it's fun and trash talking is part of playing games usually or could be and it's not really personal but you know it's like what i noticed with certain people is that if they win and they own you like let's say they all get out the gate they're going to teabag you tell you you're trash tell you to uninstall or they're going to put something like gg easy you know sarcastic but yet those same people if you slaughter them and they all die they're going to say you camped and you tunneled and you're trash and get better and pick a new killer and uninstall the game and they're going to say no matter what the outcome is they're going to be toxic little brats because that's just what they are so it doesn't matter what the outcome is like 
you know when are they going to say to the killer like oh congrats good game like you know you won like in a not sarcastic way no even if the killer kills them all they're gonna be like oh we ran you for so long and we ran you all over and we hit you with all the pallets and we head on you and we made a mockery of you and it's like yeah but you all died in the end so anyway look i have like a lot of different youtube channels for different things and been on youtube since since it started so i've heard the nastiest things people could ever possibly say as well as the nicest things people could say and the, the irony is sometimes on the same video you'll have somebody say something like wow this is amazing like this is the best video editing i've ever seen and then right under it will be a comment would be like this is awful horrible amateur video editing like, so it's like you can never please everybody there's always going to be you know there's always going to be the like what it you know one man's trash is another man's treasure so like whatever i do if one person loves it there's always going to be someone that hates it and that's just how it is for everybody so you can't go like like it doesn't hurt my feelings i have thick skin they could say whatever they want it's a video game at the end of the day it's a game like it's there's nothing emotionally attached to it when it's a game for me at the you know it's like when it when the power gets turned off the game is over and then like actual life happens you know like like friends and family and work and things that you got to do and this is just a game